What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival. I've been raided of course, so I'm going to go out on a revenge raid, but I should probably eat something first and get a few more medkits. Hang on, let's just get up to a nice even stack because I haven't got the best armor on that I could be wearing. But it's fine, I've done a bit of redesigning, I've moved all my safes in here and I'm waiting for raiders to break the walls. There we go, that's one wall gone. Hopefully they do a few more of these outer walls there. So anyway, let's head out on a raid. I think I might even have my dog coming with me because I've got 20 minutes worth of food in the dog crate. So let's head out. We are raiding someone called Derp. We are raiding a Derp. Derp a Derp. Right. Oh, and there's an airdrop as well. I need to go to that airdrop so I can complete a raider's task. Right. Off we go. So I've got with me, what was that, six stone hatchets, six metal hatchets, and two C4. Hoping this will be enough. Looked around in Discord, haven't found any record of anyone raiding this base yet. Alright, and here we are in the base. Okay, so is this, okay, that's not a metal wall. Right, and I haven't, I've actually pretty much completely ran out of silenced weapons. So I'm going to need to start doing the bunker again, which is unfortunate. Right then, let's just go in straight through this wall. Hoping this isn't another honeycomb base like last time. I didn't even post that last raid I did. It was so disappointing. Right, you know what, I'm going to go straight into here. No point breaking the outer chest when there could be some good loot in here. Right then, I am not expecting anything good from this base, but if I could get my five turret parts back, that'd be nice. You know what, I'll take the tape. That's about it, I might get those nails. What are we get from here? Hey, nice, I'll take these. Um, oh, okay. I do like the new sound for the AK, it's nice. Good doggy. Good doggy. I like it when my dog helps out. Oh, you miss so often now. I hate it. It's that you, you can't shoot for more than about a second and a half without starting to miss every shot. Hey, an engine part and some oak. I'll take all of that. I'll take a machete as well. You know what? I'll take the gold. Right. Now, what was I looking at in here? Do I want... I'll take the tape... I've got a ton of bricks. I'll take a bit of stone. But yeah, nice. Free engine part. Right, let's see what they got in their last two little chests. They haven't even started working on their chopper. Makes sense that I was given this base to raid. Right, I'm going to end up taking that meat with me. Right, and anything amazing in here? <gasps> Duggies. Much better. The berries. Oh, oh, damn. I thought that wasn't going to summon in another wave. Right, you know what? I'm actually just going to leave. I haven't got enough silenced guns to carry on wasting them when I know there's no more loot to get. So, I'm going to head off. I'll, I'll probably head over to the bunker, I think, or maybe the farm. So, I'll see you all in a minute. Hour later, and I'm over at the bunker, and I believe the code is 29858. There we go. And I've got a couple of bits to give to the specialist, not to give to the specialist, a couple of blueprints to trade in in the room of the Overseer. Is it the Overseer's room? I think it is, isn't it? Because it used to say Overseer keycard required, so yeah, he is the Overseer. Right, I've got a nice modded machete with me. I've got the new Hunter Handle. I think it's Hunter Handle. What is it called? Yeah, Hunter Handle. Just finished that modification. Right then, let's take this, see what we get, and it is Flash Hider, common modification blueprint, um, don't want that one, and let's trade that one in as well, okay, right, so I need to get some red tickets, and I of course also need to open up the ticket crates that I've got here, so I think I have eight red tickets already, so I need to get, yeah, like 22, so I don't think it's going to happen this run, but it might, easily good. Eh, not too bad. I've seen some people getting blueprints in the green and yellow bunker crates, so I'm hoping 
I can get something. No. Ah, that's disappointing. Right, let's smack. Oh, I do love the big frickin' hammer. It just destroys. I mean, look at this. And what, look how big it is. I swear it's not supposed to be that big. But whatever. It's cool. I like it. Let's go over to the third floor. Third floor is my favourite floor in the bunker. Mainly because it's just got so many frenzy giants. So it's a lot easier for red tickets than the other floors. Right then. So I am going to want a faster weapon as my sidearm. Okay. Now I haven't got any form of meds apart from a stack of 20 med kits, unfortunately. Right now. Uh, they can switch. So, oh nice, so this actually does 34 damage with occasional critical hits of about 40. That's pretty nice. Right now, if I could get some water in here, that'd be good. Let's see. Hey, perfect. I'm actually going to use the minigun here because, I don't know, I never use the minigun. I feel like it. Okay, that was nice. Can I minigun down the turret as well? I can. Ooh, the durability on the minigun does not last long, does it? Hey, five turret parts. And let's see if we get a nice red ticket in here. And... No, right. Can I target... No, I can't. What about with this? Nah, I can't reach it from over there. Oh, I forgot to mod this machete. That was silly. Alright, I might as well use it up now. And one hit dead. Yes. Hey, and we've got a bunker skill as well. Right, let's go machete this frenzy giant. Machete? Uh, minigun the frenzy giant. Is that going to work? Yes, it did. Perfect. Ah, oh, that was nice. Alright, so have used almost half the minigun already, though. But I really want the look around skill. Aww. Ah, uh, health is increased by 8. I'll take that. Now I've got 108 max health. There we go. Right, good doggy. I feel like the dog should do... Well, I guess you can get the leader skill on dogs. Leader trait, sorry. To make the dogs do more damage. But I haven't gotten that on a single dog, I don't think. I have got a lot of dogs, so... Just need to actually raise them up a bit. Raise them up? Breed them. There we go. That's the word. Ah. Uh, messed that up. There we go. Right, so it only does 30 to the Toxic Abominations. That's strange. I guess they're supposed to have some kind of armor, aren't they? Come on, puppy. Right, and I'll uh, smash them apart. Oh, almost died there, got down to 8 health. Yeah, considering how much damage the dog does, it's, ah, it should definitely be able to stay active a bit longer. Dog seems to be tired. Yes, I can see. Dog's a wimp. <laughs> I love the using the minigun. I've got so many miniguns at my base, so I figured I might as well start using them. Hey, glue! Perfect! I need, I think it's about 33 glue to finish my bow. Because I'm working on the compound bow and the big scope. Right. Now, I don't think I can ever sneak those. I don't even know if it's possible. It probably is. I'm just notoriously bad at pretty much every game I ever play. You no, know I might as well grab the tickets now. Save me having to come back through. Right, I think my dog's going to give up in one more bite. Oh, great. Um, hopefully I don't die. I might die. Nah, we're good. Ah, that was a bit annoying. Right, back to the minigun. Switch it over so I can run. But target this one. 
No, that started shooting way too late. Okay, cult it is. It's annoying. The... Uh, what was it? That thing we had before. Dual Berettas was so much nicer than the cult. There we go. And I'll take that. Now, have I got any food? Yeah, I've got the beans in my inbox, of course, haven't I? I do like the daily beans. They're useful for situations like this. And... There we go. Perfect. Right. I'm probably just going to cult this guy. And then I'll use the minigun on that massive room that's full of zombies. It just shoots so slowly. Yeah, I just don't feel like it's worth using this gun, really. It's probably more useful to actually just recycle, thinking about it. Hmm. I might start doing that instead of Glocks. Well, I've completely run out of Glocks. I did have a trunk funnel of recycle them all. But it got me the... What was it? The ergonomic shut Elite shutter. There we go. That was it. Got me the elite shutter. However, I have nothing to actually use it with because I've got no more Glocks. Right. Check in there quickly just to see if there's anything good. Could have a bit of whiskey, but I don't think that'll be in a vendor machine. Nah. Ultimate sneak attack? Nope. Guess not. Oh nice, it does 50 damage to them. That's pretty good. Any red tickets from you guys? They sometimes give them. Ah. I do really like the big hammer. I want to use my saw blade. I've got the Diablo ergonomic handle. Uh, nope, I want to do this. Yeah, I've got the Diablo blade, which is the red one, and the ergonomic handle, which is the best one. That was a nice sneak attack. But unfortunately, I've completely ran out of saw blades and iron. So I'm going to need to be getting some iron. Right. So mainly from the bunker... All I want is just glue. I need loads of glue because I want to finish my bow because it will make the bow look cool. That's the whole reason. And I'm not getting any glue. Right, let's just... Turn this one down. It's a shame we can't mod these weapons. I'd love to be able to make this shoot faster. Right, okay, we're up to six red tickets. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. And I'm not sure if I'll have enough durability to take out the next frenzied or not. Okay, good, the mic is turned on. It's just checking. Right, so another possibility for glue here. Nope, but got a red ticket. Ow. <laughs> it was worth a try. There we go. <laughs> uh, poor zombie. Right, so up to eight. So I think we've got 16 in total now. I might have to do a bit of hard mode and take on the blind one, possibly. Not sure. Or I might just not open the red ticket crate this time around. Hang on, how many chests have we got left? There's one, two, three, four, five, six chests, seven chests left that we can open. Right, let's switch over to the machete again. Get this. So seven more chances of getting some glue. And switch. I do like the machete. It's, I think the machete is my favourite weapon. I'm disappointed that the actual Spike Devastator wasn't the highest damage mod for the pipe. Because the Spike Devastator before was my favourite. It just looks so cool. Yeah, and have they changed the recipe yet? No, they haven't. Okay. Hey, there we go. That's seven glue. 
more than happy with that. Right. Go for a sneak attack here. How the hell is the character carrying a sledgehammer like that? Oh, for those that are wondering, you can get this mod, the actual weapon, from the farm. The raiders have them, and when you kill them, you get their weapons. That's why none of my big hammerhead and carbon handle ones are full durability. Right, let's get this, and... Hey, I accidentally brought the silenced weapons with me from the raid. Right, I'll take that. That's definitely thinned the herd a bit. Right, if I can get away a bit. Oh my god, this gun is so slow! Jeez. There we go. That's better. <sighs> that is definitely a lot easier than doing it with... Like melee weapons, etc. More, ah, a bit more intensive. Like requires more meds and whatever. But I don't know. Okay, what do I want? Um. Hey, I didn't mean to do that. Can I take any of that? No, I cannot. Right, let's do it. Oh, my minigun is actually about to break. Okay, so we've got seven glue so far. We've still got one, two, three, four, five chests to go. Ooh, a hammer. I'm not sure what I need the hammer for, though. I know I needed it for something. Ah. Uh, whatever. Might as well just... Take these out with two hits each. And then... Wait, can I get the other side of this and hit him through it? Yes, but you can hit me through it as well. That's disappointing. Well, I guess it makes sense. Right. Uh, I have got a Frenzy Giant to deal with next. One Iron Bar. Thanks, game. Here we go. And a bit of durability with this. Nope! Ow. Uh... And my meds have moved to the wrong slot. That was close. That doesn't go there. It goes there. Right, switch back to these. There we go. Another red ticket. Right, up to nine. Not too bad at all. <sighs> so what have we got left? We've got two abominations, a load of spitters, and one frenzied. Ow, that was painful. Right, let's do this and that. Good for a nice super sneaky attack here. Bam. Oh dear, that's not good. There we go. And there we go. Right, red ticket? Nope. Really like it when you get red tickets from non friends. Ooh, just chopped his head right off. Ouch. Okay, so I'm going to try out my metal pipe. Because I think this is the best metal pipe you can get. Spike handle with the faucet top. So let's see what kind of damage it does. It... Okay, so it's about the same as the machete. Little bit less than the machete. Alright, that's actually pretty good. Definitely worth making if you can find the faucet handle. Faucet handle? Faucet head. Wait, so does that increase... Okay, so that doing it, the little step thing does increase the firing speed a little bit. Not really enough for it to be useful, but... Go, and... Nothing I want. Right. Toxic Spitters. Better give me some red tickets. Oh, this is ripping me up. <laughs> I like that they just punch you. They don't bite or anything. How did people get infection passed on? Right. Three green tickets. Four green tickets. Uh, that's a rip off. 
Right, and what are we going to get from in here? One red ticket. Okay, so that brings us up to 11. So we've got 19. Alright, I'm not going to do any more of the bunker. I think I'm going to end off the video here because it's really hot in my room. It's, I think it's 29 degrees today, which is too bloody hot for me. So I'm going to finish off here. Thanks for watching, people, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.